Okay, fast forward. I'm in Bali. I've made it two weeks. I have not played with myself. I have not looked at anything. I haven't even looked at women. I don't even engage with women. I smile and I keep it moving. I haven't even entertained the thought. And it's been two weeks and I feel amazing. Um, it's kind of crazy. I feel really good. Um, I've changed my eating habits. You know, before coming here, I've changed my water intake. I've changed a lot of things, you know, but I can discuss those at a later time. Um, so for now, the semen retention. Going on two weeks. Feel amazing. I'm going to the gym. Feeling great. I'm talking to people. I'm connecting. Um, I'm not, like, chasing women, lusting after women. Um, I'm getting okay with being by myself and alone. Uh, I'm not getting bored and wanting to fulfill my time with porn, sexual pleasure, the hub, or whatever you want to call it, and just I'm not I'm not wasting my time or my energy on this. I'm watching a lot of semen retention videos and the benefits. So I think it's working. <laughs> you know, I'm going on two weeks. I'm pretty sure it's working. I feel great. I have a ton of energy. I really, really am excited to see what happens. So I'm going to keep going. I'm at 14 days. It was pretty easy for me to get through these 14 days because I was on vacation and would just keep telling myself, don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. It's not that serious. Just go for 30 days, see what happens, no big deal. Fast forward a bit, I make it home, 30 days, turn to 60 days, you know, 60 days turn to 90 days, and then I'm like, whoa. By 30 days, I don't even remember what I felt, but it was fucking good. By 60 days, every day I was waking up at 5 a.m. for no reason, having so much energy, I, I, don't, I don't have social media either, so I, like, I'm not on Instagram, TikTok, whatever, um, just wasting time, you know, on the internet. So I would go to bed at 9 p.m., I'd wake up at 5 a.m., from there I would just get up, get out of bed, go right to the gym, um, I'd bring my iPad with me, um, I'd get on the treadmill, first thing I would do is get on the treadmill, I'd put it at 2.8 miles per hour and a 15 incline. I would bring my headphones. I don't listen to music either, so I bring my headphones and I put on these solfigio tones um, and they're just like hertz and frequency. So I'd put it at like um, 174 frequency. I would listen to that, close my eyes, get on the 15 and just walk for like 30 minutes. And during this time, I would just close my eyes and almost meditate, but just sit there peacefully and I would just listen to the to the vibration in my ears and just visualize the cells in my body healing because I listen to like a lot of Joe Dispenza, Bruce Lipton, Biology Belief, Wisdom of Your Cells. Um, you know, I'm also a chiropractor, so I really believe in um, our thoughts and our cells and sound and vibration. So I eliminated the music, I switched to sound. I would get on the treadmill, I would just listen to it peacefully, and then after 30 minutes, I would flip onto an audible book of something that I was trying to learn for the day. Um, the first couple audio books I was listening to is, oh, The Willpower Effect. Um, this is a great one to start with because I could not like kick the habit of like gluten, sugar, and just eating for no fucking reason. Like I was 240 pounds. And 42 waist um, not too long ago, um, almost had a heart attack, um, diabetes, cancer twice, and I blame it all on the food. That's a whole nother topic, whole nother discussion. So, so I'm on semen retention, I'm following protocol, get up, 5 a.m., you know, I'm, I'm not like following some regimen that someone made on the internet, I just naturally just got up at 5 a.m., walk one hour, 
on 15 incline listen to these music um, these hurts because it's like regenerating i believe it was regenerating my body as i'm walking on the treadmill so as i'm walking i believe that the vibration is reorganizing all my cells and essentially reprogramming me cleaning me out and healing my body from the inside out through sound vibration um i also change my water i don't take in any fluoride so no toothpaste it's a fluoride free toothpaste my shower head has no fluoride it's got like some filter that takes the fluoride out and then i have a berkey a berkey water filter this thing is amazing so before i was just drinking tap water or whatever it didn't fucking matter man all water is the same it's not all water is not the same don't get it twisted anyone who thinks otherwise I challenge you on it. You know, I'm not going to get into the science because that's not my thing. I'm not into like spitting facts and proving theories and proving this and proving that. Um, I'm just talking from experience and stuff that I've heard and understand over time that I think is beneficial. So sometimes I forget to breathe and I get excited and I talk a lot and I don't use commas. I don't use periods. Um, same thing in my writing. So I guess I'm dyslexic in my writing. I'm dyslexic in real life in talking. So bear with me as I learn how to speak and recover my brain, my body. And I've never had to speak this much in my entire life. It would always be maybe the same paragraph sentences, simple shit. And 